Well, hi there. It is me, Elliot Fears, once again. Now, first of all, just a little apology um, for not making any videos in the last year. The reason because that is is because I've recently moved house and I've finished college for the year as well. And the last sort of twelve months with college and the move has put me very hectic and busy for me. And that is why I have not had time to produce any YouTube videos. Anyway, I shall get on with the system test. I'm calling this system test one, as it is in my new house or bungalow as it is. Um, now I shall first of all walk you around the devices in this system, although they are more or less the same as finances aren't great at the moment and I haven't had time to buy anything new. Anyway, here we have the Faraday 6304B Horn and Strobe. That's 6304B. Um, I've taken Horn slash Sounder out, and I will tell you what I've done with that in a minute. Anyway, so it's just a strobe, and that is 75 Candela. Move along, we have my ESP electronic heat detector. This is the same heat detector that's featured in all my previous fire alarm videos. Um, nothing special there. If we, if we move over here, we have like a, a control panel and control system. I will tell you a little bit more about, about that in a minute. Come here, we have my notifier NBG10 pull station. Again, same pull station that's been featured in other videos. And here we have a dummy bell box. This is a, a dummy alarm, burglar alarm bell box. And if I just lift the, the cover off without it falling down. Um, now here we have the sounder slash piezo from the Faraday 6304B. And I've put it in this dummy burglar alarm bell box. Um, now... I put a bit of tissue in the piezo because it is quite loud and of course it annoys my family so that's why I've done that so it's going to be a bit quieter than normal on the test and then coming back over here with the sort of main central area under my, under my bed I have um, along with a transformer I have a X10 enabled relay and that allows me to activate the system by X10 and if you don't know X10 is a um, a home automation protocol. Anyway, come to my sort of main control area. First of all, this switch here is a test switch. So if I throw it down, the strobe starts flashing, of course, and then of course you can hear the um, piece there or sounder. Anyway, these switches under here, they all work and they all do a different function. This main double one on the right, that basically just cuts all power to the system so it effectively functions the same as an ordinary switch on a plug socket. This one here disables the um, sounder but leaves the strobe enabled. This one here, or the one that says C6, disables the X10 relay. This one here, or the B10, disables the heat detector and then the one on the very left disabled the pull station so that's my control panel so far now um, again if you remember from my previous videos um, the heat heat detector doesn't let the full amount of current through so the consequence of that is the sound is slightly quieter than the pull station and the test switch when you trigger the system with them means and also the strobe doesn't flash and again that's due to the fact that the heat detector doesn't let the proper amount of current through and in addition to that <laughs> I've kind of lost my relay when I moved so I had to sort of just wire it up the conventional way in like a serious loop anyway I'm going to now start the system test and I shall start with the heat detector okay so you can see the two LED lights are on and as you can probably tell the sound isn't as loud as I, when I tested it a minute ago and the strobe isn't flashing that's due to the fact that it is not letting a lot of current through anyway I'm going to disable the heat detector 
and re-enable it to reset it. And the next thing I'm going to test is the test switch. As you can tell, it's a little bit louder now than the piezo is. Plus, the strobe is flashing. So just reset the test switch. I shall now go to and pull the my notifier NBG10. And here goes. Okay, um, so now I shall demonstrate the silent switch. So I'll just throw that. You will see the strobe is still flashing, but the switch has been thrown and it's silenced the uh, um, piezo slash sounder. I'm going to put my camera down for a couple of seconds so I can easily reset the pull station. It's kind of awkward doing two things at once. Front of the set this this pulsation and also hold the camera. In addition, I do apologise apologize if this video is getting a bit long. Um, it's just <laughs> normally I would try and plan it in advance, but it's the first video in, in a long time and it's probably running right now, I guess, about maybe six and a half, seven minutes. So the pull station is reset, and then once again to show you that this these switches work, if I just re-enable the um, sounder, I'm going to pull a pull station again, and then disable a pull station, then we're going to set off the heat detector once again and then disable that too and then finally I'm going to trigger the X10 relay with my X10 remote and again disable the X10 relay finally flick the test switch for the very last time and then silence the piezo slash sounder and then finally power down the system and that concludes my um, system test I'm going to end it right now because it is getting quite long um, I may reshoot this uh, one day but for now I'm going to upload it and so people can view it anyway until my next system test but I'm not sure when that will be um, I'll see you later.